Well, my name is Melissa Big and I'm a first year Leeds Beckett student studying in business management with marketing. This is my Understanding Markets and Customers vlog where I'll be discussing my personal buyer behaviour and linking it to relevant marketing theories which allow us to identify the purpose and processes of our purchases. The purchase I'll be discussing is my MacBook Air laptop from Apple. The purchase of my laptop is an extended problem solving purchase due to the fact it's an infrequent purchase and it's also expensive and it takes time and research and thought before it's been decided on. The reasoning and decision making behind the purchase can be identified in the Gosney and Richardson decision making process model, which illustrates the various steps and decisions made by customers when evaluating the need for a product. The first category of the model is need recognition. Need recognition occurs when a consumer discovers an unmet need that needs to be fulfilled. The need for my purchase was due to my recent move to university and discovering a laptop would benefit me in my studies and allow me to work from both home and university, also allowing me to access online resources provided by my course. The need recognition occurred during Freshers' Introduction Week at university after being told of the various assignments we will be tasked with over the year, for example vlogs. The Maslow's theory of hierarchy also links to need recognition. A five-tier structure is used to demonstrate the order of motivation to occur. The need for a laptop falls under the tier of self-actualisation as it allows me to achieve a higher standard of work whilst being creative and also able to complete independently led study as I'm able to access more resources and also use databases such as Microsoft and Google Scholar. to consider is information search which is where the options available to consumers are identified and clarified. My information search took place in the form of recommendations from family and friends who had used the same product and also reviews online from various electronic companies such as PC World and Curry's. This allowed me to gauge an understanding to which product would be most effective for me and also which brands and makes were popular with people my age and in similar situations. I quickly found that Apple was one of the top preferences. As well as this, I looked at various factors such as storage and um, the aesthetics, the working speed and security of the product, um, as I wanted to ensure my product would be the least problematic. Similar models such as the Dell XPS 13 and the ASIC Chromebook 14 mirrored the MacBook Air in many areas, however, overall proved not as suitable for my personal use. The concept of celebrity endorsements is another reason why I felt more inclined to choose an Apple product. The use of recognisable famous faces to advertise a product made it so that Apple was my first consideration. The next step in the process is um, evaluation of alternatives, which is where consumers evaluate all their products and brand options on a scale of attributes, which have the ability to deliver the benefit the customer is seeking. In my case, I looked at various different laptops, a range of different brands and companies to find a cheaper alternative and a more suitable model in comparison to the Apple Mac. I considered the Acer Chromebook 14 initially due to the similar aesthetics, uh, the sleek, lightweight design which mirrored that of a MacBook, deemed a useful attribute when commuting home so it easily fit in my bag. However, my priorities quickly shifted and was mainly focused on quality and security of a product. Even though the Acer did provide a similar aesthetic, the iOS software provided by Apple seemed unbeatable, therefore allowing me to eliminate Acer as an alternative. The next step in the consumer buyer process is the product choice. Uh, the product I finally came to choose was the Apple MacBook Air. The 13 inch screen and the slim design appealed to me as it allowed me to easily carry it and not take up too much room in my bag. The laptop was purchased in store and cost £1,199. After purchasing this product, I've realised that I've definitely made the right decision. The laptop offers me a great alternative of research and it also means that I can store multiple files, um, allowing me to reduce the amount I carry in my bag, not having to carry folders and notebooks. It's easily accessible. Um, also, the product doesn't always have to be used for work, so when I travel, I can also use it to watch Netflix, which allows a leisure opportunity, which furthers my thought that the correct decision was made. This has been my vlog. Thank you for listening.